Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Uh, in the last episode, we you not, not we used, we didn't use anything. Uh, but in the last episode, we def well, we didn't really do- There's a lot of things we didn't really do. But now let's do something that- Well, now let's say something that we did do. We battled- Agheim. I still have no idea how you pronounce that guy's name. The evil wizard dude, I, I'll just call him that. I've always called him that. Those are black stones. We can't lift those yet. Pow. Pow. So now we get to throw a thing in there. But now he's angry. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Oh, we just instantly go to the Dark Palace. That guy right there, oh, now he doesn't, but he looked sort of like Fawful, like in a really weird way, like not exactly, but uh, if you don't know who Fawful is, he is just an enemy from the Mario and Luigi RPG series, and he's sort of consistent in it. He was in the first game and the third game, and sadly he hasn't appeared since. He's probably going to appear in the remake of Bowser's Inside Story that's coming out. Sadly, the remake is on the 3DS, not like on the Switch or something. I mean, it would, it would be great if it was on the Switch, but it isn't. Actually, I think I should, if I can go down, how many fairies do I have? Just one. Uh, okay, I was going to say I'm going to either capture some fairies or buy some potions, but I think I'm fine. Okay. Die. I've heard this section in the remake of this game, A Link Between Worlds, I've heard this section is really annoying because there's like these guard dudes and they're trying to hunt you down or something. Whoa, what's in here? Oh. Hey look, it's the hospital. Uh... Yay, we got all our hearts back. We went from like two or three to max. 
Honestly, I don't know how a mount, pretty much a mountain range, turns into a forest garden thingy. That just doesn't really make too much sense to me. Then again, the entire layout of the light world is warped. Warped. I can't seem to say words. I can't do words good. Did we have the monkey following us? Okay, good. There you go, there's some rupees. Yeah, it's only 667 rupees. Anyways, here we are with one of the lamest themes in this entire game. It's just sad. I mean, you go from like a pretty spooky sounding theme for the dungeons to just doing something kind of boring. Like that, it's it's just boring. It's like it tries to be fast paced, like the original dungeon theme for this game. But it just it just doesn't feel right. And the song itself is only like ten seconds long. It's, it's just not very memorable, and it's boring, very boring. I'm a beautiful singing. Oops, I don't want to go in there. That was easy. Arrows. Alright, you can't bump into those walls, and those walls are just cracked to be cracked. I thought you were going to give me something. I guess not. Oh, come on. Yeah, you can't bump those open. You have to be the really broken ones. Oh, 
open. Okay, there's just room for one more. And away we go. Oh, I thought you could fall down that hole. Guess not. Change this to the boomerang. Okay. Wait, do we do we already have two? Oh, we already have two medallions. That's nice. Run! Okay. We did it. We did it with skill. <laughs> and up we go. Hmm. Why this takes so long? And I think I can make it down here yet, yeah, no. Thought I figured something out, but I guess I didn't. Okay, so now that 
Oops, so now that that's over with. Either we, I don't remember, do you blow up that wall? Or do you push this block over and fall down here? I think you do this. Great, we go all the way back over to here. Okay, so now I think we want to blow up that floor so that we can fall down and then end up opening the way. Bang! Shot. I don't know why I said that. I'm saying a lot of things. And I'm questioning why I'm saying those things. I don't make sense sometimes. Okay, yay, we made it up here. What happens if I fall down here? Do I just fall onto... Okay, yeah. Just because I'm weird. This dungeon isn't really... It's confusing if you don't know what to do, but much like the first dungeon that we did, you, you just go around in a bunch of circles. And that's it. Okay. Is there any lights? Well, are there any lights? Besides from my own. It didn't really matter. Okay, so now we're going to get the hammer. And it has its uses like for the upcoming boss the boss is basically like those little shell dudes like the guys with the shells on their heads I don't remember what they're called anyway so we can use them to defeat these guys Is there anything down those staircases? I mean, there's obviously something, but is it anything of use? Hmm. 
Rupees. Really, just a single arrow? I believe our bottles are full. Are they full? Yeah. Okay. Almost at max rupees again. You guys are, like, you gain a lot of rupees in this game. I'm not going the right way. Oh, yeah, I am. I thought I did something wrong, but then I remembered. Oh yeah, that's why we got the hammer. Wait, can the hammer insta-kill these dudes? Yay. Looks like a strong spin attack. Not a strong spin attack. That's Ocarina of Time. Okay. Oh, we want this to be up. I wish they dropped something other than rupees. I mean, that'd be helpful. <laughs> Ink looks so angry. Alright, here we are at the boss. <laughs> Burst open the plate thingy.
There we are. Oh gosh. Actually, we have the ice rod. Oh, it doesn't do any damage. Okay, we still have a fairy. Now we don't. Okay. We did it. Okay, so that was the Dark Palace. Not really much to say about that. It's one of my least favorite dungeons in this entire game. It's just so boring. Anyways, uh, if you liked the video, then make sure to hit the like button. And if you really liked it and you want to see more Legend of Zelda content, then make sure to subscribe. But this has been the Mining Luigi, and I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye! Come on.